Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town, Fort Mill, TKK. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, and we are outside of the theater in Fort Mill, South Carolina, learning about media and the mill tonight. Stay tuned. Tonight, who is in that room? Well, currently we have Bert Hess from Catawba Studios, and he is talking about just giving a progress presentation on what's happening down at the Catawba Indian Reservation property for the um, Studio South space. Yes, so. and that too is such a huge collaborative effort, mm -hmm. an opportunity mm -hmm. to pull so much talent and skill sets from our local Absolutely. area. Okay, Bert Hess, your name has been the buzz name in our community for months now. So where are we with the Catawba Studios? Well, I mean, we're we're progressing. Uh, we're very happy with uh, how the project's progressing. I mean, the thing that everyone has to realize is there's so many entities involved with this development. It's not like a typical development where you just deal with like one group, the city council. Right. You know, we're dealing with a Native American tribe. We're dealing with the federal government. We're dealing with the city of Rock Hill. We're dealing with the state of South Carolina. We're dealing with uh, York County. Wow. And then, then my company's dealing with all the other parties involved with Studio South. So that's what we're, that's it's moving along forward. We're very happy with the progress. Uh, you know, this is a major undertaking, and it's something that uh, uh, is not going to happen overnight. But our goal is to announce a groundbreaking by the end of the year, and then it'll be another year before the stages are actually ready. Okay, okay, but so, definitely a phasing what, yeah. process. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, be, so, um, what what is the upside, and what will we see tonight as well, the what, room gets filled with what, people? What we're doing now is we're just giving the community uh, information, trying to get their excitement about it, because we really want them to embrace this project as their studio also. We don't want it just to be, oh, well, this is a Native American studio somewhere near the river. You know, this is, it's called Catawba Studios for the right. Catawba Indian Nation, but we really want to get the community to embrace it also. Yeah. And that's what we're here tonight, is just to give them some information on where we're at. Fantastic. And we're talking about big movies. Oh, yeah. The big movies. Big movies to be right. We only have six clients. Okay. Sony, Warner, Paramount, Disney, Marvel, and Fox. Oh, those are your clients. Those are our clients. Okay. What are the benefits of having a studio here locally? Jobs. Yeah. Uh, education, workforce development, uh, tourism dollars. Uh, over 300 small businesses have popped up around our Albuquerque stages in uh, New Mexico. So it affects, it's one of the few industries that can have a, a huge effect on an entire state, not just a smaller area. I love it. We're here at Media and the Mill, and one of the presenters tonight is about the Catawba Studio. Movies are mm -hmm. being made in York County, and uh, this is exciting to you. Yes. Why? And what's your name? Uh, my name is Shelton Brown. Shelton Brown, yes. okay. And, and what ties you into all of this? Uh, we're actually the uh, community development partner for the Catawba Studios and uh, we're tied in because of the history that we have with Bert Hess okay. and working in the community with workforce development, uh, educational services, uh, and also health and human services tying in the, com in the community. Wow, yes. fantastic. And your name? Stacy Compton Maga. Awesome. And what is your relationship with all of this and the excitement of having Catawba Studios? Okay, I'm actually one of the partners um, along with Shelton and Cheryl. And, um, for me, I bring, um, I mean, we all have our different components of it. And the, I'm gonna say the arts, as far as artistry, makeup artistry, oh, branding wow. and image, yes. is one of the components we bring. Fantastic. Yes. And your name? Cheryl Lamb Brown. Okay. And I'll be working on health and human services. I'm actually a nurse practitioner by profession. And one of the pieces that I want to bring is assessing risk management in the community of those citizens here and making sure that they're, you know, getting all the health care needs that they need in the community as Fantastic. well. Fantastic. Now, all of you are working together under one name, yes. and the name is? It's Feet Foundation, yes. and it's P-H-E-T-E -E Foundation. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and what is that? What does that mean? Actually, it's Propelling Human Energy through excellence. I figured it was an acronym. Because <laughs> none of you had a last name by me. But I exactly. like that. So which came first? This Catawba Studios or your foundation? And uh, how did you guys connect? Well, actually, the, the foundation um, came first or about the same time. Okay. Uh, we were originally looking to set up a partnership in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, but at, at that time, the uh, 
uh, film tax credit fell through. Okay. So Lots of um, South in Carolina, Carolina, South Carolina opened up their doors and they rolled out the red carpet for us to be here. And so we really continued the partnership that we had in Charlotte mm -hmm. and brought it to Rock Hill Fort Mill. Awesome. And and so really the, the whole premise of it is that we know there's a studio that would be built, but we don't want the community to feel like that they're outsiders. Right. So we wanted to make sure that that the studio is a is continued in the community through workforce development, through arts and entertainment, through health and human services, and some of what we train that now they can get jobs on the studio lot instead of having to go through the traditional route of college. Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town Fort Mill TKK. To learn more about our area and to see beautiful homes in Fort Mill and TKK, simply go to homesfortmill.com. And when it comes to making our area even greater, loom and business come together with the community, the result is fantastic.